Excited fans in purple and gold. There's plenty in crimson and gray as well. It's a gray, wet, blustery day, but none of that matters because it's time for that annual showdown. This is the 92nd edition of the Apple Cup between Washington State and Washington. Everybody on their feet all the way around the stadium, and we're just about ready to get things underway. Hey, Todd, there's a rumor that Paul Sorensen is inside Butch this afternoon. <laughs> If that's the case, then you watch for Butch to make a tackle down the sideline. A pooch kick and a flag thrown out Dead on the ball, field. personal foul on the kicking the personal team. Foul 15 against yard Washington penalty, State first down. Sister. Almost 2,100 yards, 12 TDs against the 11 interceptions. And as you said, dropped off to second in the conference. Nearly 500 yards rushing. He is Washington's second leading rusher this season. Play action on first down and a toss, a safe toss to Pat Conniff. Sure hands out of the backfield and a first down. The rest of the starting unit for Washington. Silvers, Nelson, Ben, Ward, Connell, the only senior on the front line that has continued to improve as the year has gone along. Sean Conniff in the backfield. Jurgens, Looker, and Elstrom. Elstrom the motion man on first down. Shaw's first carry. Rob Meyer meeting in solidly. Randall Smith in at linebacker in place of Steve Gleason. Matson, Meyer, Aliaga moving ahead of Tongaika. Emerson Holden, as Bud mentioned, Gleason not starting. Lamont Thompson gets a start in the secondary after being reserved much of the time. Tuyasasopo scrambling, gets brought down around the ankles. Shaw into the pack and continuing to drive him back a couple extra yards. Shaw's carry good for a first down for Washington. From the 28. Little underneath and behind Shaw. They Draw to Shaw. Broke the first hand tackle, but the second man tripped him up. Again, plenty of time. Tuyasa Sopo will turn it upfield. Got a fake on a man. Is forced out of bounds. John Anderson on to attempt. A field goal of 38 yards, the first points of the game, and he misses it wide left. Anderson now 12 of 17 for the year. Steve Birnbaum calling the plays, first snap there, throws incomplete. Looking out in the flat for Marcus Williams, 58% completion rate. He's sixth in the conference in passing, seventh in total offense. On the defense, 10 yard penalty, automatic first down. Against, he may have written four volumes. First give of the day for Dion Burnett, the outstanding freshman running back. Eight, 2J Raymond, Walden Schultz, Schwartz, and Raymond. Eight different sets of brothers on the Washington State roster. Burnett, an outstanding year in the backfield. Had a stretch of four straight 100-yard games. Burnbaum with time and the quick completion out around the 40-yard line. That one to Nyan Taylor. The rest of the uh, starting lineups. And for Washington defensively, Tuiaea, Triplett, and Issa, Farms, Towns, Daniels, and Williams at the backers. Bontour, Akbar, Williams, and Smith in the secondary. They didn't run a very good route. He should know where that first down marker is. Left the Cougars inches short. They will pick up the first down. Adam Hawkins, 41. Taylor, the motion man, Huskies blitzing. Picked up, intercepted. Birnbaum throws it underneath, and Jermaine Smith gets his third interception of the year by Anderson, will try to head down the field once again. Draw for Shaw again, big hole right side. He takes it close to the 40. Curtis Holden, the first man to meet him. A little bit more solid in between the tackles. Over the middle into the hands of Stevens and big target in a crowded area down at the 33. Conniff for a couple. Linebackers have to respect that, and perhaps the Huskies can sneak outside. Forced out of the pocket again. Tuiasa Sopo will tuck it up field. He outruns a couple defenders and picks up another first down. Yeah, the running game just did not get untracked. UCLA did a good job against the option. Shaw carrying here on a little cross play. He'll be close to the 15-yard line. Cougars with a little run blitz. Tuiasa Sopo dump out of the backfield. Kind of dropped the ball. Tori Holloman. This hasn't been the same player. Slant in, Stevens is open, makes the grab. First and goal, Washington. Tuiasa Sopo, a nice read. 
from just inside the eight. Shaw gets about three before he swarmed under. Which is a pretty good amount for defense. Ball pops loose. Tuiasa Sopo picks it up, and he'll be dropped at about the 10. Nice bounce. This is a third and goal situation. Draw for Shaw. He'll be stopped short, but a big game there. And the numbers again for Anderson had that school record equaling 56 yard kick a week ago. This one a 20 yarder. Senior Ryan Militich, the holder. And Anderson pops this one through. The Huskies get on the board on their second field goal try. And the freshman, who's definitely got to be a candidate for some freshman All America honors, hammers that one through from 20. Washington draws first blood in the Apple Cup. Huskies trying to show some stunts again. Anderson with a hanger. Jarzinka with space. And an illegal block, but the Huskies are going to get away with it, looks like. Dodged a couple, then tackled at midfield. And they'll run the draw for Shaw once again. Jarzinka the motion man this time. Pressure, screen underneath for Shaw. Dodges a couple more tacklers, and early on here, Sonny, for the Cougars on that last one. First down, 36-yard line. Paul Arnold's first carry of the game. He'll pick up five. Let's get a wheel chop for it if it keeps up. Pressure again on Tuiasa Sopo. Gets it away. Juggling grab by Kana. First down inside the 15. Get the Huskies inside the red zone again. Elstrom, the motion man. Mo Shaw spins through the hands again before Emerson wraps him up at the 10. Has some great leg drive as well. He usually is never pushed backwards. Up the middle, open for Tuiasa Sopo. Dives underneath the tacklers wisely that time. Looking for some power football here for a first down. Pitch to Shaw. Towards the corner. Touchdown, Washington. Took it right over Lamont Thompson. And the Huskies extend their lead. Shaw with his sixth rushing touchdown of the year. On his face, more than anybody. And for good reason. I tell you, he does. Militich is doing a great job with these snaps in the wind. As you saw that one hooking away. Anderson adds the extra point. Here's the score again. There's the dive right there. But that pitch, you can see right there that Billy Newman was beat by the time that pitch was made. There was no way. A moment ago, and it, it's atypical to say of a Mike Price team that they don't have sufficient offense to come from behind. That's been a tough thing to overcome this year as the Cougars bring the kick back over the 25, almost three and a half minutes. The Huskies moving down the field. Shaw's score, Birnbaum with the screen pass. Washington State's best play and more. Burnett, can he break away? Lester Towns hauls him down inside the 10 yard line and saves the score and we have come to the end of the first quarter so washington state comes up with a little wrinkle takes it 48 yards and the cougars will have it first and goal when we start the second quarter of play at husky stadium the cougar fans have something to cheer about with 15 minutes in the books and a check off by burnbaum huskies backpedaling guns it incomplete Little contact. Burnett is back in the backfield. And he'll get the ball, take it inside the five yard line, triplet. And that's an amazing number though, 24 25, and a seven to one touchdown to field goal ratio. Burnett, pressure came off the corner and he went nowhere. Roderick Green was coming in. Ryan Lindell on to attempt a field goal. Kareem Anderson, the punter, is the holder, 22 yard attempt is good. Washington State gets its first points of the game. The senior from Mountain View High School in Vancouver, Washington gets Washington State on the board. The Huskies 10, the Cougars 3, more of the Apple Cup after this. This season. Arnold. Cougars missed an arm tackle on him and then brought him down just outside. Check off again at the line of scrimmage. 
Throwing a little fade this time is Tuiasa Sopo for Looker incomplete. And he That's why it's so crowded in Seattle, Sonny. Oh, I know. Well, they're going to go deep instead. Batted incomplete. Stevens was the thing in the second quarter so far. High snap grab and the kick away, but it's going to be a very short one. Give big time credit, however, to Ryan Fleming for a save there. This is the home team, the Huskies. Nice play fake. Birnbaum hesitated, then finally delivered the pass to Henderson, and he'll be close to first down yardage. Birnbaum slings this one away. He was looking look for a little razzle-dazzle. Now, though, they need to convert the first down. Hawkins. And it's going to be real close. to Trips to the right for the Cougars now on first down. Henderson in motion. They'll toss quickly to him. Juggles, batted, grabbed by Farns. Breaks a tackle, he could go. It's going to be a foot race now. I think the Huskies are offside, though. Jeremiah Farms in the end zone. Offside on the defense. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. Still first down. To the right, Burnett, not much at all. And with all the tackles for loss, the Cougars still don't have 10 yards rushing for the half. Here's the fade. Bud called it, toss for Taylor, broken up. Excellent coverage that time. So after having a first and four, the Cougars are faced with a third and three. And they'll throw again. Trying to set up a screen. Dumped out into the flat and caught by Arnold, but Lindell on to attempt another field goal. This one will be spotted just outside the 18-yard line by Anderson. And Lindell nails his second of the game, his ninth of the season. And the Cougars close to within four. Brother stories, the Aliagas and the Hollemans among them with uh, sons on both sides of the ball. That one breaks the plane of the goal line. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. Arnold. Good cut back there to get extra yardage. A smart, smart read by Arnold. Evans with a good block on him and another first down for Washington. Outside, good sliding grab by Jurgens. And without Gerald Harris so far this week, as he has just not been able to bounce back since his thigh injury of a couple weeks ago. Looker, the motion man. Quick toss to him. He's looking downfield. Wide open is Joe Jarzinka. Touchdown for Jarzinka in his final game in Husky Stadium. Just took a page out of the Cougar playbook. <laughs> Dane Looker's first pass and a pair of seniors hook up for the score. The extra point from Anderson is good. Looker to Jarzinka on the score. Momentum comes squarely back with the Huskies. They lead it 17 to six. Kick in the air as the Cougars take it downfield. Another solid tackle there. Encroachment on the kicking team. Five yard penalty, previous spot. We're gonna re-kick. Nettles and Taylor back for the Cougars and they'll kick again to Taylor's side. Washington State should benefit a little bit better from field position this time. Bounces off a couple tacklers. Nearly stretched it out. He got over the 40 yard line with Jason Gesser will come out, he has missed several weeks with a hand injury and gets his first taste of Apple Cup action. Nothing like warming him up, he was looking to throw but will sprint out instead and takes it nearly out to midfield. He's had plenty of time to study the playbook but Mike Price said I just wanted to give him a taste of what it's like to play in Husky Stadium. He gives to Burnett, who will be just short of the first down. A part of the picture. Short yardage, boom, solid shot there and again, that's going to depend on this spot as well. Washington State now 20 yards rushing on 14 carries. They aren't going to add to it at all as Jabari Issa wraps Burnett up. A look at the senior from Foster City, California. Huskies again showing some pressure. Gesser scrambling away. Tuiaea will drag him down at the 50-yard line. So much pressure from the corners today. From the gun, pressure backside, he gets away from that. There's just no one open for Gesser. Still's gonna force one in and it's incomplete. 
Omari Lowe was the closest to come back and almost got there. The illegal downfield against Washington State. Trying to kick to a corner. Jarzinka will let it bounce. It'll go out of bounds. Washington will have the football at one margin in total offense right now. Huskies looking like they're just going to be content to take the lead to the locker room. One more dive into the line. What's the margins on that call? Jim Lambright's last Apple Cup victory. Pat Connett carrying. The guys, they're off on the line of scrimmage. Nearly got it. They hit Fleming. There's the flag, so it's not going to matter anyway. Henderson trying to find the sideline and, and stop the clock. Coming appears foul, to be okay. Roughing the kicker on the defense. 15-yard penalty, previous spot. Automatic first down. Conniff and Arnold, and uh, after all that, including the timeout, <laughs> they'll be content to take it into the locker room at halftime. Marcus Tuiasa Sopo in the first half, 8 of 14 passing. The biggest pass of the half was thrown by Dane Looker. It was the bomb to Jarzinka on the flea flicker that helped the Huskies extend the lead. At halftime, Washington 17, Washington State 6. For Washington. Again, they'll drill it for Taylor. This one back deep, and he'll let it sail over his head and into the end zone. But he has had to scramble a lot in the early going. The Cougars empty the backfield. Towns giving defensive signals. They'll run the quick screen to Henderson, and they really caught Washington, I think, off guard there. That one. Washington State gets a first down. Burnett's carrying the ball. There you see the scramble in the pile as well as the Huskies say they have it. Again, five in the pattern as Taylor flexes out. And they'll run a little flip motion again. That is Hawkins who came clear across the field in motion. The Cougars are next to last in that statistical category for the year in the Pac-10 Conference. Birnbaum throwing a long out. It flutters and is caught. And again, the Cougars break out of the backfield, they've got four to the left, and again, Hawkins is the motion man. Quick toss out again, Good Henderson. Clock. He'll take it down close to first down yardage. And on short yardage, Issa from behind brings Hawkins down. And it's now third and four, and there's oops, motion up front as we come back. Dead ball, offside, by contact, on the defense. Meisen and Taylor flexing out. Hawkins again, who's running wind sprints each play. Little dump over the middle, incomplete. Daniels with the coverage. Two penalties on the play. An eligible receiver downfield on the offense. Pass interference on the defense. Penalties offset. Replay. We had that. Down. Birnbaum checking off. And they'll run a draw with Hawkins. Nowhere to go. He just bangs up against his own lineman. Washington State last in the conference in rushing at only 105 yards a game. They go to the air and throw the out route to Taylor, incomplete. Birnbaum now 11 of 17 passing and running for his life. Hold on the play, thrown up and dropped. Lowe had the interception. And Overend bouncing. Could not keep it in the field of play. The attempt by Zubidi. Starting to get standing water as well. Washington with the ball at the 20 yard line. Shaw on the draw. That may be the mantra in the second half. As they've held the Huskies to just 90 yards rushing in the game. Shaw once again and for a little yardage. Take much for a ball to slip out of your grasp. A look into the eyes of Maurice Shaw. The Cougars scrambling on that one. The ball's loose. Trying to get to the corner. And he'll take it into the Washington side. And then a flag thrown again. It's just a lack of discipline. Be the 12th penalty of the game. Washington State starting this series after the penalty with the handoff to Burnett as the Cougars open at their own 39. You'll benefit of game number 12 as well. Birnbaum having to double pump. They're under some pressure. Sidelines, Taylor make the catch inside the Husky 35-yard line with some nice concentration as he was out in front of Curtis Williams. 
Cougars again flank guys to both sides, open up the backfield. Burnett, the motion man, and they'll make the quick toss again, batted and incomplete as Zubini nope. took his eyes off. Are yep. they calling it hot or not? That was very oh. close Ooh, to a boy. lateral. Yeah. Backside pressure, Burnbaum gets away from one, but not the second. First it was Smith, and then Tui Iaia, team that has only 10 for the season going into today's game. Forced out again, nowhere to go. Hit as he throws, that ball's live. Still batted around. Towns tried to get it, it bounced on the sidelines, so Washington State will maintain possession. And on the field right now, good snap. Yep, they've managed a lot of them. And a high kick, again driving Garzinka back inside the 20 yard line. Guess what? Minute, Joe, <laughs> Holding inside on the return their own team during the line. return. Penalty being forced half the distance to the goal from the end of the kick. The area First too now. now. Still live at home. <laughs> Look like their mother's hair net. Shaw's going to be dropped for a loss of yardage. Meyer there to meet him. And Why? Shaw the sole set back to Iasisopo looking to throw over the middle. Nice grab. And he really was patient, I think, that time, Sonny, and waiting for Elstrom to clear the zone. Thought about it once and waited for him to get through. It's a first down at the 21 yard line and a good call. Shaw takes it for a couple more. Tui Asasopo now over 100 yards in total offense. Good right. pressure by Meyer. Tui Asasopo scrambling and getting clear right there as it's called third and inches. Straight up the gut, Shaw bounces off a couple and gets the first down. Conniff doesn't do it statistically, just does it in all the little intangible areas you need. Stevens with another big catch, slips just outside the 45 yard line. Put out wide to the right side here. Conniff on the dive that time, falls forward for a couple more, he just keeps going. Stevens hangs on first down Washington. Exciting to see him for a few more years. Well, he could have stayed quarterback, but his future's a tight end, and it could be a lengthy future. Shaw carries inside the 35. Jurgens in motion, never really got set. Shaw, big hole, flag thrown, and I think that's going to go against Jurgens. For the snap, ball start. On the offense, five yard, repeat second down. Need to come up with some points, however. Well, and I was going to say, usually the long drives do result in scores. As Shaw carries once again. Started back deep in Washington territory, and Stevens flexed that time. Dead ball, ball start, offense, five yard penalty, still third down. As you see now, 15 penalties called in the game. Again, plenty of time, but Tuiasa Soko will run it. First down and more. That's the speed that was not around. As well as getting Pac-10 honors once again. Arnold for a little game. See whether they'll get another snap off here before the end of the quarter, and they will. And he simply throws that one away. Marcus quickly pointing to the referees. The wind shifting so that it is again at Washington's back going this direction. Cougars showing some blitz. Pressure and down goes Tuiasa Sopo. Billy Newman gets the sack for Washington State. They have a kicker with a strong leg, but Newman's blitz pressure capping the quarter after Tuiasa Sopo had made a nice run. Fourth quarter comes up. Fleming looking to bottle the Cougars up here. We'll just kick a low line driver into the wind and it's caught in the air. Now you're not allowed to run down <laughs> further and put it down. Either that or Mike doesn't want to risk him down deep perhaps, I don't know. But Gesser completes and a tackle broken as well. Another one broken. Marcus Williams still on his feet out over the 40 yard line. Bigger play. The old yardage after the catch. Boom, Burnett got hit. And trying to get his wits settled once again. Incomplete, double coverage and a tough pass once again. There. Into the slant, dropped. Shaw 
driving kick again over the head of Jarzinka. This one's going to bounce and turn and roll all the way into the end zone. Option pitch for Shaw. Been quiet for a chunk of the game. And right now, just trying to protect the football in the lead as Shaw carries. And the Cougars again swarm to him. Pitch to Shaw, he has the corner this time. Good pursuit and a nice open field tackle by Newman. How about a flag? <laughs> Wishful thinking perhaps, but we'll see. Ooh, we got the last one of Anderson's. That floater is going to bounce and out of bounds. And hold your breath. As they've only accumulated 78 yards of offense and haven't done much of anything in the second half. Burnett pushing the stack. Quick out and incomplete, trying to find Taylor. With time, throws high. Green again on the coverage. Balls where he had good form and really delivered it quickly. But it has not been in every throw occurrence. Jarzinka with the bluff. It'll go as a touchback. Three and a half minutes. That's the GM drive of the day brought to you by your GM dealers. Nice looking pass there. Tuiasa Sopo incomplete. Arnold with a big gap to the outside and look out. Cougars trying to narrow the angle. The young man who went for 100 on the kick return is going to go for the score. Touchdown, Washington. Arnold goes 80. Everybody outran Trufant and Holloman on his way to the end zone. That's the longest rushing play of the year for Washington as well. And Paul Arnold opens up his own personal page. 125 coming in, 101 now for Arnold as he takes it 80 yards for the score. Husky's running all over everywhere defensively right now. Some pressure on the corner by Green. And Gesser takes off first time, holds some blocks for him, and they do. And he takes it out near the 20-yard line. As gives to Burnett on first down. And again, rocked solidly up. Well below their average of 345 yards a game. Farms missing. Gesser with tons of room now. Could go. Nobody near him. If he gets enough blocks, Green coming over. Pressure from behind by Tui Aiea running him down, and the ball popped loose. Coop's got Let's it see. back. Let's nope, They got it back. So they'll take it at the Husky 20. Burnbaum back in. Hawkins breaks a couple tackles, stays on his feet, scores. Touchdown, Washington State. The Cougars will try a two-point conversion for the first time this season. Little toss underneath and going in for the score is Menke. That cuts it to a 10-point ball game midway through the fourth quarter. Way through the fourth quarter, you see Arnold back deep along with Jarzinka for the kick. And that's going to be taken by Arnold. Take it out to about the 25-yard line. Arnold the setback once again. And Tuiasa Sopo will scramble this time. He'll pick up a first down. Looker the motion man. Arnold. Pulled down in a hurry that time. Still have a long ways to go for that. Seven minutes. Nice play fake. All day again, just to decide what he wants to do, and he'll finally scramble out. They hope he gets some momentum back right here, showing some pressure. Little throw underneath. Going to be very close as Elstrom makes the grab, depending on the spot. Coming on to punt after that timeout. Ball taking a left turn and be down at about the 30-yard line. Not wearing a jacket at all, so he's still standing there. Lots of time. Incomplete as Birnbaum tried to force another one. 
Play clock down to five. Little lob to the outside, and that one grabbed by Mankey, who trips and falls. And Hawkins breaking to the top of the screen. And Birnbaum on the dive. Did the ball pop loose? Looked for a minute like he'd lost it, but he hangs on. And Washington brought everybody up to the line. Two back set this time. Everybody's packed in. Birnbaum going to throw on fourth and inches, and it's dropped. He could have waltzed around the corner for the first down. Say to have a chance. And Tuiasa Sopo going to the air. They're trying to add to the total. Looker is open. And Tuiasa Sopo stumbling. Smart call, however, though, just to go for it to really put the nail in the coffin, as it were, after getting the ball on downs. Now they'll go back to Arnold for a couple off the left side. Looking to toss again for Stevens. Breaks a tackle, stretches. And should have enough for the first. Arnold, who's carried much of the attack here in the latter part of the game, beginning to think about one more game, a postseason one, as they'll raise their overall record to seven and four as the head coach at the University of Washington. Arnold once again, first down. See the kind of focus they'll have next Saturday. Arnold. For little or no gain as the Huskies go over 400 yards of total offense in today's contest. And they'll pitch it one more time. Arnold getting through the initial wave of the defense. Now the flag's thrown for the block in the back. The Huskies have won it fair and square. Don't get chipped. Last play of the game coming up here. Don't say that with this crew. We may never know when we may get another flag. And Caps, his first year with a victory in his first Apple Cup. Former head coach Steve Axman congratulating him there, his former mentor as well. And Sonny, seven and four year for Rick Neuheisel as he shakes the hand of Mike Price. Joe Jarzinka with a touchdown in his final Apple Cup. The Huskies conclude the regular season at seven and four. For Sonny Six Killer and Bud Namick, I'm Todd Pickett saying so long from Husky Stadium. Our final score, Washington 24, Washington State 14.